that we also rethink seriously our social systems. Allow me also to put more emphasis on the need to put more money on our referral units. We need to have our uh, system of grading our hospitals be automated using standards so that we literally don't have to beg for a, a given hospital or a given health facility reach a given level. If we want to talk about level five hospital, if we want to talk about level six hospital, we should have a system that would automatically have standards, qualify standards that can be used generally by the country to make us have a balance, to make us upgrade regional systems, to make us upgrade regional hospitals. Somebody has just talked about Jaramogi Oginga Odinga uh, Hospital. There is also the Coast General Hospital. We also have other hospitals spread across this, uh, across this country. We need to rethink and relook the level of this hospital so that we have very, very strong support systems. At given levels, there is money that goes directly to this uh, system. So we need to look at that, uh, Honorable Speaker. Under the Sustainable Development Goals, health and wellness is covered under SDG number four. And it is a serious, serious thing. And one of the priorities of His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, Honorable Uru Kenyatta, is universal health care. Leaving nobody behind when it comes to matters health. How can we achieve this with very limited facilities? How can we achieve universal health care when we are using most of our money to go and take our people to be uh, treated outside there? We have very, very many senior government officials who are outside this country getting treated, and the government is using a lot of money to secure the health of our beloved Kenyans when the same work could be done. I believe we have our medical personnel who would meet the same, same objectives and health goals if they had equipment and conducive environment. So it is important that we relook and we rethink our position. When it comes to, when it comes to uh, issues on mental health, this has been elucidated very well by uh, people who have talked ahead of me. But I want to look at depression. We, one would rarely get referrals of depression. But I want to stand on the floor of this house and I want to go on record. And I want to say that we need specialized units in referral systems to just take care of mental health, as has been said, and especially on depressed states. One may not be mad, but a good number of Kenyans are a depressed people. So it is important that we rethink that as a community and as a nation and look at that. When we come to oncological systems, we have a lot of money going on to cancerous systems that are re literally ripping Kenyans apart. How I pray and I wish that as much as we are looking at referral systems, we should put more money, money, a lot of money, on all disciplines of oncology so that we don't have Kenyans go outside there. We have specialized people in the area of oncology. We don't have Kenyans go outside there. Some of them stay in the streets. Some of, they stay, some of them stay in the corridors of hospitals as they wait to get oncological attendance. So how I wish that we should have more and more money put in our referral systems to handle our oncological needs. Another thing that I want to uh, bring up, uh, me, Honorable Speaker, as I give other members an opportunity is, as a country, we need to seriously take care of our health. I am not sure but as much as, as Kenyans, we are getting aware of our health status, there is the need of physical health, and we are running into several gymnasia. This particular house unit, National Assembly, has a very good gym. What I'm asking Kenyans, as I stand on this August house, is, are we able to determine what level of exercise as a community we, are sh we, we should take, we should undertake 
at a given age. Because what is going to destroy Kenyans is poor information at some point. We are going to have a problem with poor information on the type of physical health we should undertake. With that, I support the report. Thank you so much, Honorable Speaker.